Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video because I get to geek out over makeup. It's like my dream come true, like geeky stuff and makeup. Like they had a baby, they created this collection. It's the Max Star Trek collection and I went to Comic Con. They had an experience outside of Comic Con and it was incredible. They had a spaceship and then they had different interactive areas. You can check out the collection, get your makeup done, buy the collection before it even comes out. So it was just amazing. Like I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god. It just felt like you're walking into like the set of the 19th. 1960s like TV series it just felt so so cool and I got my makeup done by Brad and it was so cool I just told him you know what you can do anything to my face I don't care what you do so he gave me glittery eyebrows metallic lips like we went all out and it was so much fun I even got these crazy eyelashes so it was the coolest experience ever I felt like a galactic princess like I just wanted to go and watch Star Trek <laughs> afterwards and I watched it yesterday Star Trek Beyond it was amazing it was so so cool I highly recommend it but in this video I'm going to be talking about the Mac Star Trek collection look at this imagery it is amazing it's so 1960s pop art and this collection was inspired by four women from different Star Trek series and also generations so we have Uhura right here from the 1960s and as well as from the movies so we saw Donna portrays her in the movies but we have her and she's just so iconic she broke the barriers completely in the 1960s then we also have Seven of Nine right here she was portrayed by Jodie Ryan she's kind of like a cyborg and this is from Star Trek Voyager. Then on the bottom right here we have Commander Deanna Troy. She's from Star Trek Generation. I kind of based off my look off of her. <laughs> so this is a Deanna Troy inspired makeup tutorial. Let me know if you want to see a tutorial in the comments below because I would be so happy to do one. And then finally right here we have the Orion which is an alien species. They're green skin, very very sultry. They're kind of like the vixens. <laughs> Vixens of space. So yeah, we have four women right here portrayed. All of them which are very powerful, independent, strong women. So I was just very happy to see Mac create a collection inspired by four very powerful and strong women. So I love the imagery. I love just the thought behind this collection and the products are so so cool. But before I start talking about the products, let me give you some important dates for this collection. So the exclusive Comic Con pre-sale was from July 21st through the 24th. So by the time you see this video, it would have already been over. Then the collection will be available online on August 25th and it will be available in store September 1st through October 13th. So you do have a while before this collection is available online, which is good because it gives you plenty of time to save up if you want to purchase multiple things. And at Comic-Con, at the experience, oh my god, I told you it was cool. And I purchased one thing and the other thing my mom has in her handbag already, I purchased two things. And we got this bag. Look at this bag. I am going to be saving this because this is the coolest bag. I also got the pins that I'm wearing today. It says Star Trek right here. It was the coolest thing. I honestly... Honestly, I was like freaking out. <laughs> I was freaking out over everything. And yeah, this is the bag. And then I also, after the experience, after all that excitement, I came back home and I found a box from Mac and I was just like, what is this? What is this? I opened it up and it was a PR packaging. So they did send this for free. I was not expecting this. I was just like freaking, freaking the hell out. <laughs> So it's like a legit box with a beautiful sleeve and this collection also commemorates the 50th anniversary of Star Trek so you can see the 50 right here and if I open the box there were all these products inside which these are now boxes, empty boxes by now and I quickly want to show you the details on the box because it's so cool so first you have the little metallic 50th anniversary emblem right here and when you open it you also get it inside of the box as you can see so they put a lot of small details into this collection which I really appreciate as a fan when I opened it I was just like oh my god this is so cool so yeah even the boxes are collected 
collectible and at the Comic Con experience there were literally like everyone and anyone was purchasing this collection just men that are not interested in makeup there were women kids grandparents it was just so cool to see I was just like I was so happy super happy and thankful for this because I was not expecting this at all <laughs> so thank you so much to Mac honestly this is the coolest PR packaging ever and it's like the geekiest one so I'm going to be displaying it somewhere in my room this. I just want to hug it. The very first products that I want to talk about are exclusive to North America and also exclusive to this collection. They're called the Fantastic Powders and they look incredible. This is the one that I purchased at Comic Con and this one is in the shade Luna Luster and it's a pale rose shade. This is the perfect highlighter if you have fair to light skin. It's the one that I'm wearing today and this collection is very frost heavy, very frost and glitter heavy. So if you don't like any frost finishes or any glitter, then maybe this collection isn't for you. But if you do want to experiment with makeup, experiment with frost finishes and metallic finishes, then go ahead and get it <laughs> because this is incredible. So these fantastic powders are a two-in-one product. So they're a blush and a highlight as well. This one, if you have fair to light skin, it looks amazing. Like I said, it's the one that I'm wearing today. And it reflects the light so beautifully as you can see. Oh my God, I'm like in love with this. Brad used this on my face when he did my makeup and I was just like, I need it. <laughs> I need it and I bought it like right after he did my makeup because I was just so crazy about this and it has a blend of different types of colors so there's like an ivory shade a pale gold there's like a purpley tones peachy tones so you get a lot of dimension and a lot of different colors in this powder so I was just like crazy about this I highly recommend it this is definitely I think my favorite product from this collection. I just love it. Then I also have another fantastic powder. This one is in the shade Strange New Worlds and this one is definitely a lot darker, a lot more warmer and if you have fair to light skin tones then you can't use this as a highlight because it is very very dark. So this shade for me it's like a blush shade and it is the blush that I'm wearing today so as you can see it's just very very warm. I do have to have a very light hand otherwise it'll look like I got a sunburn <laughs> because it is very very warm and intense so if you have medium to tan skin tones this would work really great as a blush and highlight combo if you have light skin like I do then it'll, it'll be a blush <laughs> Once again, you do get a nice blend of shades, so there's golds, there's oranges, there's kind of like a terracotta shade in there. Just like the other shade, this one is very shimmery, very metallic, so this is not matte whatsoever, but it looks beautiful on the skin, so I highly recommend this, especially if you have medium to tan skin tones. Now let's move on to the eyes and I'm going to get started with these crazy eyelashes that I'm wearing right now. Brad used these when he did my makeup and I was just like, oh my god, these look so cool. They're very dramatic, very in your face and they have blue and also black eyelashes so they're definitely, they're definitely a look. <laughs> it's a, lot, a whole lot of look going on. And you know what? One thing that really surprised me about these eyelashes is the fact that they feel very light for how dramatic they look. So so if you're not used to wearing a lot of false eyelashes, then these ones are pretty comfortable in my opinion. Now let's talk about the pressed pigments. I have two of the shades right here. The first one is the one that I'm wearing right now. This one is Into Boldly Go, which is a warm reddish shade. Brad used this on my eyes when he did my makeup and of course I'm using it all over my eyelids today as well. I just used a fluffy blending brush to just diffuse this shade. You can also use this wet to get something a little bit more intense and a little bit more metallic. But regardless, if you wet the brush or you don't wet the brush, you're still going to get a lot of intensity. And these ones are just so shimmery. They reflect the light so beautifully. I mean, I can say that about basically all the things in this collection. They reflect the light so amazing. That's one of the things I love the most about this collection is the way that the light hits it. It kind of changes and morphs into a different color. It's amazing. I love it. And this is by far the most wearable of the two shades that I have. So if you do want some reddish warm eyeshadows, which are very in at the moment, this one is incredible. And they're mess free because they're a pressed pigment. They act like a regular eyeshadow as opposed to just the loose pigments which get 
everywhere. The other pressed pigment that I have is in the shade Midnight and it is a stunning blue. It is amazing. It does remind me of the midnight sky with the stars and everything. And when the light doesn't hit this pigment, it turns into like a smoky gray. It's absolutely stunning. This one does apply a little bit patchy, especially if you do it wet. That's one of the things that I did notice. So out of the two, I prefer to boldly go. It applies a lot more even, but this is like very smoky eye friendly so if you want a simple smoky eye just one eyeshadow blend it out and you'll get a smoky eye really quickly in this collection you also have some liquid eyeliners and of course they're metallic they're shimmery I got the one in silver and this one is in the shade nocturnal Brad used the gold one on my eyebrows to create these really interesting metallic eyebrows I was just like you know what they look so weird but I love them <laughs> So I can even do that with like silver so I can have like silver glittery eyebrows but you can use these whenever, wherever you want basically. You can use them to create little circles, stars, to line your eyes. Today I used it a little bit below my eyeliner, I don't know if you can see that. But these are really nice. They're pretty opaque in my opinion. You can layer it up so if you do want something like super metallic then you can add a second layer and get that look. But I really like this and it has a felt tip applicator so it's super easy to apply. If you're a fan of my channel then you know that I'm a little bit of a lipstick addict <laughs> and I got two of the lipsticks right here I have this one which is my favorite one this one is in live long and prosper it is a beautiful rose gold it's a really interesting shade definitely the most wearable one of the two that I have so it is the one that I'm wearing all over my lips today it is stunning it is definitely very on trend because I know metallic lips are having their moment once again so this one it's absolutely beautiful I love the undertone and I love the way this reflects the light once again so I would highly highly recommend live long and prosper and the name is just so cool the first time I recorded this video I accidentally called this lipstick yap I don't know why I was editing the video and I was just like <laughs> why did I do that so it is not yap it is live long and prosper don't make the same mistake that I did and the other lipstick that I received is very unique, very weird, but I'm strangely like drawn to it, <laughs> especially because I love gold. And this one's in the shade The Enemy Within, which is a gold lipstick, a metallic gold lipstick. And the lipsticks in this collection have a frost finish, so you're not going to get something that's very opaque, like a matte lipstick or a cream sheen lipstick. So you can layer these over a lip liner or another lipstick if you want to. So for example, I would use this lipstick on the center of the lips just to highlight the lips. If I'm wearing, let's say, like a red lipstick or even like a purple to create a beautiful like multi-dimensional highlight in the center, so with these you can definitely play around with them, create different effects. So they're very versatile, very strange, but if you like gold and just want to experiment and try different looks, I would highly recommend this one. But out of the two shades, I would say Live Long and Prosper is definitely the most wearable one. You can just add a new lip liner and just fill in your lips with this. And it looks beautiful. It doesn't look like, you know what, what are you wearing on your lips? It just looks like a beautiful rose gold lipstick. In this collection, you also have lip glasses. I have two right here. This one's in the shade Gone! And you do have to go like that whenever you say the name of this lip gloss. And these ones are not duochrome. I would say they're multi-chrome because there's certainly more than two shades in this lip gloss. So this one has kind of like gold, lime green, purple, and hot pink, like iridescent glitters. It looks amazing. This one is a lot more translucent, so I would recommend using another lipstick or lip liner underneath and just getting the multi-dimensional glitter effect with these on top. So this one I'm wearing on the center of the lips just to make it a little bit more rosy and more like glossy. <laughs> But it's beautiful. I really like this, but it is more translucent. If you want a little bit more color, a little bit more intensity, then this one would be it. This one is in Warp Speed Ahead, and it's like a deep purple, and it has 
purple, it has hot pink, peach, and blue iridescent glitter. Once again, you do get a lot of dimension and when the light hits it, you get to see all these different shades of glitter. It looks super cool. You could wear this on its own. I would probably still recommend using a lip liner or a lipstick underneath just to get like the full effect, but you can wear this alone because it is a lot more like potent. The color is a lot more potent and more intense, so you could wear this all on its own. And the last product that I received from the collection is a nail polish, and this is a glitter nail polish. This was the very first time I ever tried a MAC nail polish, and I have to say, I am very, very impressed. This one's in the shade Holodeck, and it's a metallic gold, and this is one coat, one coat of the nail polish. It is completely opaque and usually with glitter nail polish I have to apply two coats just to get a very opaque like finish to the nails and this is one coat and it's opaque. So I am super super impressed. When I was painting my nails I was just like oh my god it's amazing like you don't even have to be a star trek fan to pick this up if you're a fan of gold nail polish and gold glittery nail polish you're going to love this. This is amazing. So that concludes my Mac and Star Trek collection video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if you're excited about the video, if you watch Star Trek Beyond, or what products are calling your name because I would really, really want to know. My favorite products from the collection are definitely the Fantastic Powders, especially this one in Luna Luster. This is a must have. Once again, this is the highlight that I'm wearing today. I am absolutely crazy about it. It is very frosty, very metallic, so this one is definitely a must-have in my opinion. Another product that I highly recommend is the Pressed Pigment in To Boldly Go, which is this shade. It is absolutely stunning and very, very wearable once again. I also highly recommend the nail polish. This one is just metallic goodness. I love it. <laughs> And then finally, the other product that I would highly recommend is the lipstick. Where is it? In Live Long and Prosper, the Rose Gold. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade. If you're brand new to his channel, don't forget to subscribe by clicking right over here. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Also, don't forget to let me know if you want to see a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing. So let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thank you once again for watching. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Live long and prosper. I can't do it because my fingers just don't want to cooperate with me so <laughs> there it is. Live long and prosper. Bye!